In this video, we'll learn how to install Ubuntu server on your own server, on your own hardware. So you will need to have 2 GB of minimum RAM and at least 50 GB or 100 GB of hard drive and at least two core CPUs. You can alternatively use a Zima board, a single board server, which is of course extremely convenient in case you are using this for testing purposes or for the purpose of development, you can use that as well. It also works good for the small businesses. So once your hardware is ready, you will need to download the Ubuntu server. Let me show you how you can download Ubuntu server and then we'll be using step-by-step -step installation. So here you'll go to ubuntu.com. You can click here to products and here is Ubuntu server. And download Ubuntu server. Go for Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. LTS is of course for the long-term support. 23.10 support is only available until July 2024 and that's why we'll go for the long-term support and you can see here that expanded security maintenance will be you simply need to click on download another option which I talked about was Ubuntu desktop I will recommend to first of all install Ubuntu server and then you install the Ubuntu desktop environment it will give you flexibility to get all the server related setup done first and then you can go for the Ubuntu desktop I have provided both of the videos here where you'll understand how you can go with the Ubuntu desktop installation on top of Ubuntu server once you have completed the download in case you are installing it on your virtual environment, you will be simply attaching this ISO file to a virtual environment. On your existing hardware, we can use USB flash disk. Once the download is ready, and we'll be using Balina Etcher for this. And you can download, of course, Balina Etcher. All right, so here on Google, if you search for Balina Etcher, so here is the Balina Etcher. So what it does is it will help you to write the ISO image to the flash disk, and then you will use that on your hardware. So I'll download this simply here and you can see here that it is available for various operating systems so i'll be downloading it for windows if you already know how to install you can skip this step otherwise i'll guide you to install so here is balina at your setup agree to the installation so here you can see installation setup is running here so here you can see that flash from file you will be locating the ubuntu server iso image which you have already downloaded here we'll choose flash from file and here you can see ubuntu 22.04 is the server installation iso image you will select the target here it says that plug the usb flash disk so i'll be plugging in usb flash disk over here here i have plugged in the usb flash disk and you can simply select this usb flash disk now you can see USB flash disk is selected and simply click on flash. It will take some time to write the complete ISO image to the USB flash disk. Once the image to the disk is written completely, then we'll simply remove this and then wherever you want to install, for example, this is my server where I want to install Ubuntu Server 22.04. I'll simply plug in the USB flash disk over here and I will go into the BIOS of the system. What I need to do in the BIOS, I need to make sure that the first bootable drive is the USB disk. In some cases, you can keep on pressing F10, so it will give you the boot order, or F9, it will give you boot order, or simply you need to keep on pressing Dell button on your keyboard, so it will open the BIOS setting. So in BIOS setting, you have to find the boot order. In boot order, you need to make sure that you should be able to choose the USB flash disk to install Ubuntu server. So here. I'll be choosing the USB disk and now once it is done you will simply restart the server installer will load from the CD you can see here you can try or install Ubuntu server press enter here so you simply need to choose this step-by-step -step wizard this wizard will guide you to install Ubuntu 22.04 you can see here it shows Ubuntu 22.04.3 LTS Ubuntu server waiting for cloud in it choose the language and whether you want to update the new installer we'll be using continue without updating here you can see the layout of the keyboard i'll be going with default whether you want to use ubuntu server or ubuntu server minimized so i'll be going with the default configuration here which is ubuntu server 
the network configuration whether you want the server to get the ip address directly from the dhcp server or you want to configure it by yourself so i'll be choosing the manual configuration here so here i'll be going to edit ip before and instead of automatic i'll be choosing manual here and what will be the manual subnet it will be 192.168.240.0 and my subnet is 24 and what will be the address of this server it will be 192.168.240.7 this is the IP address that I want to keep and 192.168.240.1 is my gateway and the same will be my 192.168.240.1 as a DNS server or name server and I'll also be using the Google DNS server 8.8.8.8 .8 and even if you want to use more you can use that. I'll not be searching for the domain I'll leave it blank and save. Now you can see my server IP address is being changed to static IP and here done. As I'm based in Oman, so it is choosing the Oman archive and here the address is oman.archive.ubuntu.com slash Ubuntu. This is done here. It is asking whether you want to install it on your drive. So I'll be choosing yes. Whether you want to encrypt it, if you will encrypt it, of course, you need to provide the passphrase for this. And I'm using this as a test server, so I'm not going to encrypt this. If it is production server, you might need to think about encrypting this disk press enter so boot partition will be 2 gb mount partition will be 14 gb and then ubuntu lvm will be 29.9 gb free space will be 15 gb so it all depends how it has to be installed so i'll be pressing continue so it will destroy the partition here you want to use your name so i'll be using my name here the server name will be for example ubuntu server 22 and here i'll choose my name here choose the complex password that you want to have and done now whether you want to enable ubuntu pro i will show you that also it is a great feature which is available for personal use of course ubuntu pro is available for free i'll continue and here install open ssh of course i want to access this using ssh terminal so i'll be installing open ssh as well so whether you want to import the ssh identity i won't be doing that right now enter and now it is asking whether you want to install any other applications. So these are popular snaps which are available. So snaps are in fact the containerized application that will be installed in Ubuntu. So whether you want to install Docker, you want to install Nextcloud or PowerShell or AWS CLI, uh, these are all the packages which are available. So I won't be doing that. I'll be just keeping it blank. Whenever you need any application to be installed, you can of course install that application through the command line so i'll be just pressing tab and done now it is installing the system we'll be waiting for this to install and once it is completed i'll be coming back to you all right so now the installation is completed you can see here install is completed and it is right now downloading and installing the security updates I will recommend you to continue with this. Let it install the security updates. Meanwhile, you can see the full log. So it will show you what is being installed right now in case you want to see that. And otherwise, you can see this. So here the installation process is completed. I can simply cancel update and reboot. So the server will be ready with the installation. Otherwise, you can wait for the security updates to complete it otherwise you can cancel an update and it will uh, reboot the server now you can see here it is cancelling the update and rebooting the server all right so ubuntu server 22.04 has been installed and it is now restarting you can remove the cd or usb disk from where you install the operating system and then of course it will be working from your local disk here you go and i'll be opening terminal here and, and in terminal i'll try to access ssh amjad at 192.168.240.7 and here it will ask me to create the ssh key i'll type yes and now i need to enter the password and here we go i am now logged in to ubuntu 22.04 simply i can do sudo apt update so here you can see six three packages can be upgraded so we'll do uh, sudo apt dist 
and dash upgrade so it will upgrade all the packages which needs to be updated type yes for the yes command and now here you can see it is asking us which service should be restarted i won't be restarting any of the service i'll be just rebooting entire server to make sure that all the packages which are installed will be dated and i'll do sudo reboot once all the packages are installed these packages are up to date and i'll again use ssh to log into the server if it is ready it will log in and ask for the password it is still looking for it connection is refused because the ssh service may not have been started yet okay the ssh service has started i'll simply log in here and here we go to make sure internet on the server is working i'll ping the google.com the dns is working internet is working we'll again do sudo apt update and we'll do sudo apt dist upgrade here you can see zero upgrades zero installed and zero to be removed so our server is right now ready and we can now install any application into our server as we have completed the installation of ubuntu 22.04 if you are not comfortable with the cli or command line interface in next video i'll show you how you can go with the ubuntu desktop user interface